Find out what is happening at the library from virtual programming to fun new services. Hear recommendations on books, movies, TV shows, and so much more. This is In the Stacks at Mustang Library. everyone welcome to Scottsdale Public Library. Today we're going to show you how to use the My Account feature on our web page and this allows you to log into your library card account and renew items and you can cancel hold items and just take a look at where you're at on the hold list. So let's go ahead and log in. The main account tab is located at the middle of the page and up near the top where it says My Account. So we're going to click on that and it's going to bring you to a login screen. And this is where you're going to put your library card number. And that's that big old long number that's located on the back of your library card. You might have changed your library card number to like a username to make it easier for you. Um, and that is something you can definitely do. You'll also need your PIN or your password. And if you don't know what your PIN number or your password is, you can contact us at either the Ask a Librarian feature on our website or you can call us at 480-312-7323. When I say PIN or password, I mean those terms interchangeably. So let's go ahead and log in, and it will bring you to my account page, and it'll give your name and some various other information. One thing that you can do if you click on Contact Information and Preferences, it'll show your address. Um, your address is grayed out, however. You cannot change your address yourself. You would need to contact us to do that. You can change your email, though, and you can change your phone number. And also, if you go a little bit farther down, you can change your notification preferences. Right now, it shows that we're getting email notification, and we can change that to, say, phone number or text messaging. Another thing that this offers is a little box over here at the right that says maintain reading history. This means that we will keep track of everything that you've checked out on your account. This is not something that is activated automatically when you open up your library card account. This is something that you do have to request. And if you click on the box, it'll show a little disclaimer just letting you know that uh, law enforcement personnel could request information on your account without your consent. And that is the main reason that we don't turn it on automatically. Another thing you can do from this screen, if you hit change log on, it'll bring up another area where you can create a username or change your username. Rather than logging in with your library card number, you can pick a username. You can also change your password as well. Now another thing you can do, and probably the most common reason for checking into your account is to renew items. So if you go up here to the top and you go over to the left under my record and click on items out, this is going to give you a list of everything that you have out on your account. And as you can see from this example, we have two items out. We have Black Sun Rising and Knives Out. And they have different due dates, but they both have six renewals left. And oftentimes you may look at this and you may not see any renewals left. And there's a number of reasons that that could be. The number one reason is probably because it has a hold list on it and people are actively waiting for the item. Another reason is you could have used all your renewals up or you could have an item out that's cataloged as a most wanted item. We have uh, movies and books that are cataloged as most wanted and therefore renewals are not an option on those items. Or you could just be at your limit, meaning if you have $10 in fines or fees or more, it will turn off your renewals. So another thing that you can use this for is actually renewing items. So if you click on the box and hit renew, it'll give you a new due date. Another thing you can do from this screen is if you click on the requests, this will give you a list of everything that you have requested. 
and that you're actively waiting for. Now, there's a number of statuses that can be listed under status. All of these are showing active at this time. It could show inactive and give a date, which means sometime in the future you're going to turn on and it's going to become active. And that's maybe you've gone on vacation and you've temporarily suspended your hold request. And we will show you how to do that in another hold tutorial. Another status you could see is shipped which means an item has been assigned to fill your hold and is en route to your pickup location. If you see shipped, do not head to the library yet to pick it up because you need to receive the actual hold notification before you head out because a lot of times, you know, it's dependent on transit and various other occurrences that could, you know, limit when your item is actually ready for you on the shelf. Another thing it could say is held and that means your item is actually being held for you and you can go ahead and head down and pick it up. So those are the most common reasons that you would use your My Account feature uh, to renew items and check on hold items. So it is a really handy service and if you need any help with it we are here to help you. You can contact us at 480-312-7323 or you can fill out the Ask a Librarian request form located under the Services tab on our main homepage. So thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you learned something new. Have a great day. Hi, I'm Jennifer, Community Engagement and Outreach Coordinator with the Scottsdale Public Library. Our library remains focused on providing services to everyone in the community, including those with disabilities. One such way is through our home delivery service program intended to serve those who are physically unable to visit the library, confined to home for more than 60 days, and live in a non-driving household. Patrons who fit this criteria are invited to apply, and once accepted into the program, the library will check out books based on your book preferences and deliver them to your home once a month. If interested, please visit our website www.scottsdalelibrary.org slash services slash accessibility dash services or call the call center at 480-312-7323 for more assistance. Thanks. Hello and welcome to another Goodreads review. My name is Melissa and I'm coming to you from the Mustang Library branch at Scottsdale Public Library. Today's review is a psychological thriller called The Last Flight by Julie Clark. The Last Flight by Julie Clark offers twists and turns weaving two stories into a psychological thrill ride. The narrative is captivating, a suspenseful story as two women cross paths at an airport where they decide to exchange identities to save their lives. Claire is married to the husband of the politically connected Cook family. Her daily volunteering, charity committee meetings, and her appointment-filled schedule do not match the domestic abuse she endures each day by her husband. Eva, devastated by a fatal car crash that claimed her mother and younger sister while she was taking college classes, now survives as a basement chemist selling drugs to the college elite. Both characters meet as they are trying desperately to hide from their dangerous lives and start over from threatening relationships each must endure. At the airport, Claire and Eva meet and decide to help one another by switching flights and assume the identity of the other. The narrative switches between each of the characters' perspectives as the story arc develops. Each chapter unravels a thread, pulling the reader deeper into a layered and surprising plot. The novel is a page turner and keeps your interest until the very end. Other books you may enjoy are The Silent Patient, Big Lies in a Small Town, and The Girl from Window Hills. If you liked this review, check out more on our Scottsdale Public Library Goodreads page. Thank you for joining me. And that's a wrap on this week's edition of In the Stacks. Tune in next Tuesday at 1 p.m. for Get Lit at Civic Center Library. We'll be back again in two weeks to talk about books and more at Mustang Library. Thanks for watching.